your eye, Papa. Dad, are you to help me? Huh? Are you to help me? His eye collided with the Leia's knee. Let me see it. And it was like a massive lump over his eye. It's gotten a lot better. <laughs> he says it doesn't hurt, but he's a silly Billy. So we're just waiting to get cold. Hi, Antoine. How are you? Good. Tell me happy birthday, it's my birthday. What did you get today for your birthday, excuse me? Uh, did you miss this? You got a virtual, what is it called, virtual? Mommy. Shana, yeah. what's this game called, virtual what? It's, a, it's virtual reality goggles. Virtual reality goggles, so he's, <laughs> look at his face, he's so excited. We today has been a bit of a rough day. But we are the sushi pigs. I like sushi. Oh, oh, sushi. Teeth. sushi. Okay, so we're getting sushi because that's sushi. what he wanted. He actually gave me a full list. He wanted to go to McDonald's and Taco Bell and all these places, but we decided on sushi because that's better. Right? Mm, tummy in my tummy. I love sushi. Uh, we're just waiting. They set our table because it's six of us, and we're gonna take a little longer. Why are we waiting? David's still out of town. Ian? This is David's first year actually missing one of the kids' birthdays. Right? Yeah, he gets in town a little later. Um, I actually went to go see a birthing center earlier this morning. I feel like that's the place I'm gonna end up giving birth. I'm really excited about it. I just have to make sure that one part of my um, insurance will cover it. So I'm just waiting on that. They said it should take about, about two weeks to get um, like confirmation that that part of the insurance switches over and I will be able to give birth there. So that's pretty cool. Um, this place is called Octopus. I've never been here before, like I said. There, I don't know if there's many rolls that I can have here, but my stomach kind of hurts anyway. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really been feeling well. I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, I had a little bit of spaghetti earlier today and it still hasn't digested. So, and this is how and this is how many this is how I am. How, how old is that? Hey, let me count. Let me count. Five, six. It's I said. I mean, I. He's six. Daddy, daddy. Oh. And I thought you had these. So look at baby's eye. You see his eye. Let me turn the camera around. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. How old are you, Cal? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Thank you. Hey guys, today's Vlogmas Day 16. I've been having a really rough time yet again. You guys are probably so sick of hearing me say that, um, but it's the truth. I really, you can ask my sister, I really have been trying my best. I've really been wanting to record and do all these things. It's just my body's not allowing me to it. It makes me so sad because I just don't feel well, you know? Um, I had enough energy this morning to wash my hair, but I had to pin it back because the, the fragrance is too much. I went to Cuba this morning and just getting in. I normally take the stairs, but somebody in our building is smoking in the stairwell, so I can't take that scent. So I was like, let me just take the <clears throat> elevator 
getting in the elevator, the elevator had a smell, I'm gagging. I go outside, walk him, the, the breeze blows, gagging again. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, I just don't feel like myself. So right now, I'm making some, just some quick biscuits, just so I have something in my stomach, because I tried to eat earlier, eat earlier this morning and it just wasn't sitting well. And if you hear that bubbling in the background, it's my, um, what do you call that thing? An instant? No, it's not an instant pot. What is this called? I bought this for my mom a while back and we really liked it because it boiled stuff really quick. Um, I'm making tea. What is this thing called? A hot pot. I got this a long time ago. I got this from Bath and Body Works. No, no, <laughs> Bath, and Bath and Body Works. Bath and Beyond. I always say that. I always get those two confused. It was maybe like eight dollars because I had a coupon and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Cuba's here with me um, today. Shana, man, I'm casting a shadow here. Today, Shana actually wanted me to go with her to this thing that they're having. This Christmas thing that they're having. They're supposed to be dumping off snow in Long Beach. So I was like, oh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm, it's just so hard because I want to do all these things, but I know sometimes I need to just have several seats, you know, um, but I am going to have my tea. I'm going to eat the, the biscuits. They won't take too long to make um, and see how I feel. I might just have like maybe a little butter and jelly on it. I really wanted some fruit like from the fruit man today. But just the way I feel, I know my just my digestion is gonna be going really slow, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna try some of the the biscuits here and see how they how they go down. Um, the buzz been keeping me company. Oh man, how's your guys' vlogmas going? And I'm so upset because I was on a roll. I had every day. I think I would do 10, 11 days straight. I think I did nine days straight, nine days straight, and then um, 10, 11, 12 was such a struggle bus, and even since then, I still haven't been feeling well, so let me turn this down. I'm not sure what flavor tea I want. Um, and today I was wanting to walk you guys through my baby registry because I've taken so long to do it, and I've done so much research on it that I wanted to walk you through why I put these items on my registry. I'm really excited for them. Um, I don't know, it's still early in the day, so maybe if I feel better in a little bit, I can put a little bit of makeup on and, and, and do that, but, whew, rough road. So, I'm gonna make my tea, drop these biscuits really quick so I can put them in the oven, and we'll be back. Hey guys, top of the morning to you. Today is December 17th, Vlogmas Day, Relmas Day 17. <sighs> Today I got up feeling a little better. It's 10, I've been up since like 6. 5.35 because I had to pee and then I didn't really truly go back to sleep. So whatever, 6 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> I already walk Cuba, you hear him with his ice in the background. <sighs> yesterday struggle bus again today I'm hope hopefully I'm not I'm trying to drink a lot of water I'm not sure if my water intake has anything to do with it but I feel like I drink water around the clock um, the other day I went to the store and I'm not a soda drinker you guys know that I eat very clean very healthy but the other day I went to the store and I had f I had lunch but I ate my lunch so fast I was like oh my gosh everything's sitting on my chest let me just get um, a soda so I can burp and I wasn't really wanting a seltzer so I just got a, a cream soda because if I drink soda I really like cream soda that's that's what I'll have and I remember going back to my store and this girl was like girl you pregnant you know you shouldn't be drinking no soda I just looked at her and I was like why and I had to, I stopped and I said if anybody knew what my pregnancy looked like they would not even comment. I said, I've had the roughest time. So if I'm going to have a freaking cream soda, I'm going to have a cream soda if that's what I want. If that's what I can keep down. So everybody leaves me alone. 
But anywho, um, today is Sunday. I really need to clean up, but I feel like anytime I try to do too much, that's when that's when I don't full well. So I'll probably just try to clean up my desk, like do it in little spurts. So clean up my desk. Um, I might leave the dishes for David to do. I did dishes the other day. And after I did them, I did not feel well. The scent of the soap bothers me. Excuse me. And yes, I'm still dealing with fragrance being a problem. I'm 32 weeks and four days, something like that. So still in the eight month realm. I was talking to my sister the other day and telling her about all my symptoms that I've been having. And she's like, oh goodness, Relly, I feel like the baby's gonna come soon. And I'm like, okay, so today is the day. Maybe I could put a little bit of makeup on and walk you guys through my registry. I keep saying that, but I feel like every time I say it, then I don't fall off. So I don't know, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Maybe I should eat something and then see how I feel. My Christmas tree has stayed looking the same. We haven't put not one ornament on it. But I told David, even if we don't decorate it, I don't really care because it's a lit tree, it's pretty. Um, I just wanna get the three new ornaments or four new ornaments for this year. Um, so we'll probably run to the store a little later, maybe home goods or something. Cause you know we get new ornaments every year. Four new ornaments every year, so. That's what's going on in a nutshell. Should I show you guys my belly? I still keep a shirt on. So this is eight month belly. It's barely even a hand, it doesn't even really get a handful, but that's okay. I had this girl comment the other day, like she said it like five times. Like, I don't know if she was trying to get a rise out of me or she was just like really in shock. She's like, you're eight months pregnant. Like your belly is tiny. It's tiny. It's tiny. Like she said it like so many times. I'm like, okay, thanks. Like, I don't, do, how do you respond to that? Thank you. I, I'm not sure. Thanks. I was like, yeah, I've had a really rough, a really rough time, a really rough pregnancy. So I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> but anywho um we are trying to go to this fun little thing with the kids today it's supposed to be kind of like the polar express train i think that's what it's called or christmas express polar express polar express was the, the movie right so it's supposed to be similar to that um yesterday we were stuck in so much traffic that we missed it so we're gonna see if we can go again today um and just get there super early and Hopefully they'll let us on because we were still a half an hour away. David was coming from the opposite direction and beat us there. And he's like, it looks so cute. So me and Shannon looked at each other. We were like, we have to just try it again tomorrow. It's about a 70 mile drive from where we are. And we left half an hour later than what we originally planned. So it wasn't our fault. Um, So... Obviously, we were running a half an hour late. We were like flying, but still, still we're too far in traffic to, to make it there on time. So we're going to try again today. We'll probably leave maybe two and a half hours early so we can just get there. Because at least if you get there too early, you can grab food. We'll just do something. So I think that's on the books today. And yesterday I was feeling terrible, but I was like, let's let's just go. I'll go with you. Um, early in the day too, Shayna brought the kids to the park and one of the parks near us, they were delivering snow and they were putting kids on sleds to go down in the snow. And, um, I really wanted to go to that, but no, no, no. My body was just not allowing me to. So I just stayed in bed and, um, I really felt sad after when I saw them because I was like, I don't, I, I hate to miss things like that. I hate to miss like fun things like that for the kids, but at the end of the day, I have to think of myself first, because if I'm down, who's gonna take care of me, you know? Especially when I'm home by myself. So, um, I just decided to stay in, and it was me in Cuba, and then I just put some clothes on to go with them to the train thing, but we still missed it. Stopped to grab some food and then just headed on back. So, hopefully that can happen today. I'm sitting here at the computer. I have almost 10 thousand emails that I need to go through um, a lot of them are probably just junk emails but I still need to, to look look through them and make sure 
I just haven't had the mental capacity to deal with emails, which is terrible. Um, yeah, so hopefully all is well with you guys. And like I said, I'm probably gonna do some cleaning up, but I really wanna, I, I really want some avocado toast, but I don't have avocado. So that there, there presents a problem. Maybe I'll call Shay and we could go to the store. Avocado toast, tomato, salt, pepper on it. Mm, that sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds like something that will stay down easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me try to get a hold of her and figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. Today is Vlogmas Day 19 in 12 minutes. <laughs> it's the 18th and look who's here. I made it. Finally made it. Party's here. I'm filling her in on this belly. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> she said she's gonna help me pack up my house and clean my house sure. and walk Cuba mm. and raise the baby I'm here for you're going to take down the Christmas tree I'm here for it yeah. <laughs> you're going to pack up all you're going to pack up my whole house I'm ready for a party you're going to clean my fridge you're going to clean the floors so I don't have to do anything while you're here it's perfect and what am I, orphan Annie? yep it's a hard knock life <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard knock life for me right now <laughs> We just had some spaghettis. Spaghettis. And I'm just waiting on David. He should be walking in the door any minute now. And I'm going to go to sleep. I have to be at work at seven tomorrow. I don't. And it's almost midnight. Oh, whoa! <laughs> and then. There's Cuba. Do you guys remember my desk in New York? It finally broke. So that's that situation there. And then we have some recycling that has to go out. And I keep, I keep my dog's leashes on the back of the door. You guys let me know what you do. It's kind of annoying some days to hear it constantly rattling. But um, look at him, look at him. Yeah, we just went out. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna hang this up so I can see ahead of my booth. Bye. Hey guys, today is Vlogmas Day 19. I haven't vlogged in a while. Relmas Day. Excuse me, 19. Um, today I had a doctor's appointment. I am measuring at 32. What is it, babe? 32 or 33? I can't remember now. Uh, almost 33 weeks. Almost 33 weeks. I think I'm like two days shy of 33 weeks. And I actually went online and ordered some stuff from iHerb. I know. I've been, I haven't been on there in a long time, but I helped. I ordered things to help with my labor and delivery. So my sister was telling me about um, red raspberry leaf tea. So I purchased this. This is supposed to help with supporting the uterus. So I got that. And then I also got the liquid drops that if I didn't want hot tea, I could put it in cold water and just have it that way. And then I also purchased evening primrose oil. Um, I could take two for adults, take two vegan capsules daily with meal or directed as my healthcare provider says this, I forget what the heck this does. I'll put it across the screen. I was doing all my research the other day. Um, I think this helps with your cervix. I think that's what it is. And then I also purchased some Arnica um, warming relief gel. I was thinking that this would help me during, oh, actually, why don't I put this here? I was thinking this would help me during um, labor and delivery. If maybe David, I have to smell it. Hopefully it doesn't have too um, intense of a smell, but maybe David can rub this on my back to help with that, um, with the pain in my back. I also purchased a Hara lip balm. I'm hoping that once I give birth, I can start using this again. Only I stopped because of the scent. It was too much. Um, you guys know, fragrance sensitive right now. Avocado oil for the belly. Vitamin E oil for the belly. And then also um, sweet almond oil for the, for the belly. So I've been using pretty much Shea Butter. 
um, but I wanted something that has a little more like grease to it. So I'm thinking about melting the shea butter and pouring those in there and that will be my belly concoction. Before that I was doing shea butter, coconut oil, um, shea butter, coconut oil, coconut butter. Oh goodness, now I'm forgetting, but I just put everything in a jar, put it on a, a cup warmer, let it melt down, swirled it around, and then let it solidify, and that worked for me for pretty much the whole pregnancy. I've, I've been on the shea butter for probably the past month, um, maybe three weeks. And then I just bought two soaps. This is um, an exfoliating cleanser bar. This is just oatmeal. I wanted something that was light and fragrant, and then also one in the citrus. I might have to wait on the citrus. Doesn't smell too bad, but the oatmeal one is, is good. It's very light, light scented. So that's what I picked up from iHerb. They actually forgot one thing from my order. I also ordered a, um, I think it's called Dr. Christopher's Birth Prep veggie capsules I want to say it was like 90 or 120 of them and um, that's supposed to help me with labor and delivery as well and then starting I think this week actually starting at the beginning of this week I'm allowed to start eating dates every single day and that's also supposed to help with labor and delivery so I'm trying everything, especially being a first mom, first time mom. It's my first baby, first labor. I'm trying to do it <laughs> one and done quick and easy. So I'm looking at things that say it helps with um, labor and delivery. Since I'm so close, my doctor said I can go from anywhere from like 30 week, 34 weeks. I probably can go into labor. That's not a good thing if I do, but trying to keep the baby in as long as possible. But 34 weeks and once I hit 36, 37 she's like if you have contractions we won't let them stop we'll let your body do what it wants to do and might have a baby soon so um yeah i wanted to show you guys that and then i showed you my little sisters in town i just heated up some spaghetti because that's what we had last night for dinner which i'm so hungry like nothing's helping me right now nothing um, I feel like I want some soup or something though tonight for dinner. Anywho, I need water. Um, let me hang this up. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do with my life. Cuba's here, Cam's here, Nia's here, David's here, the whole gang's here. Kind of. <laughs> and uh I'll be back. Oh, you guys see my belly, right? Let me show you real quick. That's belly. That's me sitting down. That's eight months. <laughs> the baby's in there. But, all right, I'll be back. 